In this video we're going to look at standard enthalpy changes so you can see there's a little a bit of extra detail here we've not just got delta H we've got this symbol here this symbol here denotes standard enthalpy changes the reason we need standard enthalpy changes is because delta H values can actually vary with conditions so when standard enthalpy or when enthalpy changes are measured and quoted in data books they have to be measured under a set of standard conditions now these are close to lab conditions but it could be that if you're doing something in the lab and it's a very hot day and you're measuring enthalpy changes then you're going to get a slightly different result to on a colder day so when standard enthalpy changes are put into data books, they have to be measured under a certain set of conditions. So the standard pressure is 100 kilopascals. So that's 100,000 pascals. And it's also the same as one atmosphere. Standard temperature is 298 Kelvin. 298K, which is the same as 25 degrees Celsius. If your reaction involves aqueous solutions, then their concentration must be at one mole per decimeter cubed. So that's what we call standard concentration. All chemicals involved in the chemical reaction must be in their standard states. So they are the states that they would be in under these standard conditions. So I've got three examples for you. Carbon is obviously a solid under standard conditions. Hydrogen is obviously a gas. And water is obviously a liquid. So they are standard states. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at three enthalpy changes that we use at AS. So the first of these we're going to look at is called the standard enthalpy change of reaction. And that has the symbol delta H R, R for reaction. And there's the standard conditions symbol there. So the example I'm going to use for this one is the equation that accompanies the Haber process. So that's the reaction between one mole of N2 gas, three moles of H2 gas, and that makes two moles of NH3 gas. So the standard enthalpy change of reaction, so the standard enthalpy change for this reaction, in other words, is minus 92 kilojoules per mole so this is an exothermic reaction and so to carry out this reaction for the molar quantities that are written in the equation so that's one mole of this three moles of this making two moles of that the standard enthalpy change for that reaction is minus 92 kilojoules per mole so what about this reaction so all I've done is I've halved everything. So I have half a mole of nitrogen now, three over two moles of hydrogen, making one mole of ammonia. So what would be the enthalpy change for that reaction? And of course, it's half of minus 92. So it would be minus 46 kilojoules per mole. Now we'll come back to this reaction when we look at the third um, standard enthalpy change used at AS. So I'll be reminding you of this reaction in a short while. The next standard enthalpy change I'm going to look at is the standard enthalpy change of combustion. So as you can see now, it has a slightly different label, delta H, C standard now. 
There's a very common example of an equation used for standard enthalpy change of combustion. So it's the combustion reaction for methane. So we've got the balanced chemical equation there, with all the correct state symbols in. And the standard enthalpy change of combustion for methane is measured at minus 816 kilojoules per mole. So if we have a look at what's actually happening in this equation, we've got one mole of methane and it's completely reacting with oxygen. So this is complete combustion and the carbon is completely reacting with the oxygen and forming carbon dioxide. And the hydrogen is completely reacting with the oxygen and forming water. And there's the definition. So enthalpy change of combustion is the enthalpy change when one mole, it must be one mole of a substance, reacts completely with oxygen under standard conditions. And there's one more for you. So we've got ethanol now, one mole of ethanol, when that reacts completely with oxygen under standard conditions, two moles of carbon dioxide is formed, three moles of water, and the enthalpy change for this reaction under standard conditions is minus 1371 kilojoules per mole. So again, it's obviously exothermic releases heat energy to the surroundings by this amount per mole. The last one we're going to look at is the standard enthalpy change of formation. So that's delta HF standard. I'm going to do this one slightly differently. I'm going to put up some standard enthalpy change of formation equations and see if you can work out what the definition is from the equation. So there's three standard enthalpy change of formation equations. So in the first equation we have formed ammonia, NH3. In the second equation we formed methane, CH4. And in the third equation we formed water. So can you work out what the definition is from those equations? So some clues for you. How much substance has been formed? Well, we've formed one mole in each of these equations. We've formed one mole of a substance. What have we formed these substances from? We've formed them from these are all elements. So the definition, the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance is formed from its elements under standard conditions.